Once upon a time, there was an old man and a young little silly girl. And the girl was about 20 years old. She was out there in the streets playing stupid, stuck on stupid, acting a fool, being a fool. He was at home worrying and praying and worrying and praying for his daughter, his dum diddy dum dum of a daughter. While he was worrying, he decided to drive out in the streets and see if he could find her. He was on hot pursuit. Where's my baby? Is she okay? And he asked some of the guys that hung out at the club she hung out at, is my baby okay? Well, then he noticed that his baby's car was in the parking lot. But Mama Sita wasn't in the club. Mama Sita was out there on a one-night stand with some guy riding in his car to his house. He goes and looks at her car, and it's sitting on a flat. Well, what does he do? He goes, gets his tools, buys her a new tire, comes back, changes the tire. Her car's up and running. She comes back to the car, and she sees it's fixed. Oh, my! And one of the guys explains to her, some old man in the Falcon came, checked up on you, and changed your tire. Now, let me tell you this. That was an old, unsaved man taking care of a young, dumb, foolish, unsaved daughter who didn't give him or her mother the time of day while she was out there rumping and running, acting a fool. Now, that was father's love in total demonstration of dedication to a child that didn't have the time of day to even give them a call and say, I'm okay. How much more will your heavenly father look after you? How much more? See, God doesn't forget his children no more than my father forgot about me. I was the fool that was my father. You are not forsaken and you are not forgotten. God knows your name. Just a reminder of those of you who are going through. Sing to yourself. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. He knows my name. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. He knows my name. He knows my name. All participants are muted. All right. So. One of the things that that word means when you look at the word forgotten is forsaken. There's, to me, there are two forms to forsaken. One, you can say, oops, I forgot to have my coffee this morning. Oversight. We're not an oversight to God. Number two, abandonment. None of you are abandoned by God. That's not the kind of father he is. Even when you're in the middle of your mess, even when your hands are getting dirty, God is not going to abandon you.